Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how you should never let anyone belittle you as a software developer. All right, so every so often I will turn down a client project not because I can't do it or I don't have the time or it's too difficult or anything like that. Sometimes I'll turn down a client project because I don't like the prospective client that pitches it to me, right? It doesn't happen that often because I seem to be, because I'm pretty open-minded about these kind of things, but every so often you'll get someone who just rubs you the wrong way, right? And I had this a couple of weeks ago and I was trying to put my finger on why, why I didn't want to do this project. It was kind of like I was, I was quoting for it and I was like, as I was going through, I was like, oh, you really, I don't really like this. And, and then I started thinking about it. It wasn't so much the project itself, because it was an interesting project. It was the person who pitched it to me and everything was, they use a lot of language that, like, I just need to knock up the, Eric, if you just knock up this form here, knock up this, just slap this together. And it was using things like, that I just didn't like the idea of. I, I didn't like the way that the language they were using was belittling my profession as a software developer. Right? And it's not new. I mean, I've faced this kind of stuff through my whole career, working at investment banks, working in large corporations. There's some people who really admire what you do, and there's other people who see it as, you know, you're a resource, right? And every so often I'll get that, you're a resource person, and then I just sort of turn it down, right? And the worst kind of people are, are, are people who are a little bit more technical than others, so like maybe they know how to put an access, Microsoft Access form together, or a SharePoint form, or they could do something in uh, you know, some WSWIG editor or some app builder and they assume that because they could do all that with so little knowledge that you should be able to do it in you know, 10 times the, the speed or you know, it should cost a lot less and everything like that. And you get into that kind of thing, you start thinking, yeah, you know what, I, just, I really don't want to do it. I, I, did that, you know, I just um, you know, turned down this project and said, yeah, you know what, this just is not something that I want to work on. But, but thanks very much for bringing it to me. And they were like, you know, well, why is it? You know, why is it? I, I was trying to think of a good reason, but I kind of say, it's like, dude, Max, you just rubbed me the wrong way. You, know, you, you strike me as a high maintenance client, right? And you know, if you've ever had one, you know what I'm talking about, where it's just everything is, everything is an ordeal and everything you do is like, you know, they could have done it better if they, if they had just done it. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there who've experienced this too, especially junior developers. Right? I want to tell you guys, never let anyone belittle what you do. See, the thing is, think about software development, in my opinion, is that anybody can do it. I honestly believe that anybody, if they took the time and, they, <laughs> and all the late night hours and sat there and racked their brains and made all the mistakes and spent all the countless hours you know, thinking about things in the shower, like, why isn't that code not working? And, and, you know, and just going through all the pain that we go through, they could do it, but they don't which is fine, which is why they hire us, right? And that's why they appreciate what we do. But every so often, if you get someone who doesn't appreciate what you do and they treat you that way, you know, screw them. And that's one of the nice things about having your own company is that you don't have to take on those projects that you don't want. And you don't really have to give a very good reason. Besides, and you know, I, my reason, I didn't say, yeah, you know what? It's just you I don't sit well with because, you know, because I'm still at the heart of it, still very polite, but it was just, I was just saying, you know what, this is not something I really want to do. The technology, you know, it just doesn't sit right with me. I think, you know, there's other developers out there. I think you would find someone. And, um, and really, it was, just, it was just that. It was that, those few conversations where I thought, this guy doesn't think what I do is important. This guy doesn't see the value in what I do. So if he doesn't see the value, then there's no reason selling it to him. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever had experiences like this? If you work in a corporate environment, depending on how many different places you've worked, Odds are you've had somebody you work with who, who's been like this, where it's just been, you know, you're just a tool, you're just a resource, you're just like, you're like a hammer or something like that. And then there's gonna be other people who really admire what you do and they wish they could do it too. Those are the people you wanna work with. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today. What do you guys think? Have you been in that kind of situation? And that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. Bye.